Hi children, happy welcome to another video. Let us discuss some beautiful questions, right? Okay, first question. <clears throat> the ionization constant for ammonium in water is given. Ionization constant for ammonium in water, the value is given at 25 degrees Celsius. The rate constant for reaction ammonium and OH minus to form ammonia and water that is given. The rate constant for the reaction ammonium and OH minus to form ammonia and water given. Calculate the rate constant for proton transfer from H2O2 ammonia. So we want to find out. NH3 plus H2O giving NH4 plus plus OH minus. We want to find out this. The rate constant for proton transfer from H2O to ammonia. So ammonia with H2O, one proton transferred from water to ammonium ammonia and ammonia turn NH4 plus and water turn OH minus. We want to find out the rate constant for that. What given is ionization constant for ammonium in water. Ionization constant for ammonium in water. You get NH4 OH plus H plus. That is given. This is nothing but uh, K acid, NH4, uh, if NH4 plus is acid, K acid that is given 5.6 into 10 power minus 10. And rate constant for the reaction, ammonium plus OH minus giving ammonia and water. So this KB value is given 3.4 into 10 power 10. So this is the data given and we want to find out the rate constant for this particular reaction forward reaction, right? So <clears throat> you can understand this is nothing but K base, isn't it? This is, this is the equation, this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Equation 2 refer to K acid and equation 1 refer to K base. And K base is equal to K forward divided by K backward. And also that is equal to KW by K acid. As all of you know, KW is equal to K acid into K base. Isn't it? So K base will be KW by K acid. So we can relate like this. We want to calculate this. This is available, this is known and this is known and the matter is solved. So K forward which we are looking for is equal to KW into K backward divided by K acid that is 10 power minus 14 into KB, KB it's available here 3.4 into 10 power 10 divided by K acid it's available here. 5.6 into 10 power minus 10. So this minus 10 minus 14 it is minus 4. Minus 4 with this it will be 6. 10 power 6. Now 3.4 with 5.6. 3.4 with 5.6 it is somewhat 0.6. So 0.6 into 10 raised to 6 that is 6 into 10 raised to 5 will be the closest answer. 6 into 10 raised to 5. Option A is the correct answer. Right? Hope it is pretty clear. Yes. Let's switch on to next one. Another question. FeCl3 on reaction with the K4 FeCn6 in aqua solution give blue color. All of you know what makes that blue color. It's a formation of Prussian blue, Fe4, FeCn6 times whole thrice. That is Prussian blue. 
these are separated by a semi permeable membrane as shown and due to osmosis there is so this is two chamber one chamber separated by semi permeable membrane side x and side y side x we have 0.1 molar k4 fecn6 and side y we have 0 0.01 molar fecl3 now what is going to happen as a result of osmosis option a blue color formed in side x option b blue color formed in side y blue color formed in both sides so you get uh, this compound formed in this side this side both the sides and uh, no blue color is formed that is a very simple question of uh, simple common logic and a small trap involved and the answer is no doubt option d option d because there is only osmosis there is only osmosis during osmosis there is a migration of solvent particles not the solute to molecules so these two chambers separated by semi permeable membrane and uh, and uh, concentration wise see the particle number we have to consider anyway when you simply look at the concentration this is more concentrated and this is dilute to solution there can be a flow without considering the individual ion concentrations without considering individual ion concentration you know the solvent molecules will migrate from dilute to solution to concentrated solution that is what happening isn't it no solute particles will migrate so no part of this and this will migrate so that they react and you get prussian blue so there is no prussian blue formation expected answer is option d a very small simple trap involved in that question that's all okay fine next one one gram of mono basic acid one gram of mono basic acid in 100 gram water lowers the freezing point by 0 0.1 kelvin if 0.75 gram of the same acid requires 15 ml 1 by 5 normal naoh for complete neutralization then percentage degree of ionization of the acid is percentage degree of ionization of the acid is so degree of ionization alpha is equal to i minus 1 by n minus 1 since it is a mono basic acid n is equal to 2 so it will be i minus 1 so alpha is i minus 1 if you get i you get the answer if you get i you get the answer suppose you are getting i equal to 1.22 Suppose you are getting I equal to 1.22, answer is 0.22. 1.25, you get B. 1.34, you get C. 1.5, you get D. According to the value of I, you get the answer. Okay. Now remember, this is not percentage. Answer is not given percentage. Rather, it is given fraction. Okay, no problem. So, how to get I? I can be obtained from colligative properties. So, delta Tf equal to i into kf into m so delta tf is given there 0.1 so it is 0.1 is equal to i into 1.86 1.86 kf for water into molality molality means mass of solute 1000 by molar mass of solute into mass of solvent mass of solute is available 1 gram given in the question Mass of solvent is available, 100 gram given in the question. And what is the molar mass of solute? What is the molar mass of HA? That can be determined by this. Where it is given, 0.75 gram of the acid requires 15 ml 1 by 5 normal NaOH. That means equivalent of acid is equal to equivalent of base. Equivalent of acid, it is mass of 0.75 divided by equivalent mass and that is equal to here it is normality into volume in liter normality given 1 by 5 volume in liter 15 ml into 10 power minus 3 liters and now here equivalent mass will be molar mass by n factor since it is a mono basic acid n factor is 1 so it is molar mass itself n factor is 1 so you get 0.75 divided by molar mass equal to 
1 by 5 into 15 into 10 power minus 3. That will be 3 into 10 power minus 3. Therefore, m is equal to 0.75 divided by 3 into 10 power minus 3. That will be 10 power minus 3 goes to top. 750 divided by 3. 250 will be the molar mass. 250 will be the molar mass. That you can substitute here for getting I. Therefore, I is equal to 0.1 into molar mass 250. 250 into 100 divided by 1.86 into mass 1 into 1000. So, how much it comes? 250. This is 4 times. This is 4 times. It means 25. 25 with the 2.1 it will be 2.5 divided by 1.86 2.5 divided by 1.86 that will come out as this will cancel as 1.1.2 1 or 3 it is 1.3 so the answer is option c you will get I, I value you are getting 1.3, 1.34 it is. I value 1.34 it is. So, alpha will be I minus 1, I minus 1, 1.34, 1.34 minus 1. That will be the answer. Right? That is the question. So, we want to find out degree of dissociation. Degree of dissociation is equal to I minus 1 by N minus 1. Here, here it is dibasic acid HA, so N equal to 2. So, alpha is equal to I minus 1. So, once you get I, you get the answer. So, I can be determined from this formula. Right? And the molar mass of solute, you have to decide from this. So, this data utilized for finding the molar mass of acid and that you apply to find out I to arrive into the answer. Okay? That's it. Next one. The product formed is, oh, it's a very, very famous reaction, Claisen rearrangement reaction, Claisen rearrangement reaction. And it's very simple reaction. You see what happens? This is what the methyl, vinyl, ether given. Allyl, vinyl, ether. This is called allyl, vinyl, ether. Allyl vinyl ether when heated undergo Claisen rearrangement reaction to get uh, ketones. So, what the reaction happening over here is it is going to break over here. This is minus and this is plus. And immediately, this is allyl carbocation undergoing resonance. So, this carbon will turn plus and is attacked by this. And what you get is like this you get a uh, O turn O minus and uh, this is getting attached and it turned like this. Now immediately this electron pair will be drifted and you get a ketone. You get a ketone and that is the final result. And that is the final result. This is the final product. This is the final product. And it's an example for Claisen rearrangement reaction. Claisen rearrangement reaction, which involves allyl vinyl ethers undergoing a rearrangement to get a ketones. That is what the reaction. And that is what the last question presented in this video. We will meet in another video with uh, another few beautiful questions later on. Okay. Bye. See you. Take care.